The crowd at John Paul II's funeral had begun the campaign. Santo Subito, they demanded, sainthood now. And the late Pope seems likely to set a record for the fastest path to sainthood yet. Pope Benedict, John Paul's successor, has already lifted the five-year waiting period after a candidate's death before the saint-creating process normally begins. And now he's confirmed the church's view that a French nun, Sister Marie Simon Pierre, was miraculously cured of Parkinson's disease because she had prayed to John Paul two months after he died. John Paul had suffered from Parkinson's himself. The declaration of a miracle means John Paul can now be beatified, the next step to sainthood. The planned May 1st ceremony will likely draw hundreds of thousands. It is uh, the, the record time for the beatification cause. John Paul will beat the previous beatification record set by Mother Teresa by 15 days. The fast track to beatification is the result of the reverence many Catholics still feel for John Paul. But it's also being played out at a time of acute embarrassment for the church over its continuing child abuse scandal. Some say there's a connection, that the road towards sainthood is being traveled too quickly. Especially for a pope who was in office for 27 years while many of the abuses took place. How can you want to honor someone as a saint who may have allowed innocent children to be harmed? I don't know how you can do that. With one miracle accepted and beatification conferred, John Paul still requires agreement on a second miracle before sainthood can follow. But a pope who made history in so many ways isn't finished yet. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.